sounds stealthy. I don't want stealthy. I want it to sound like it's restarting a dead planet. It's stupid time. Now we don't do clickbait, so let's just cut to the end result, shall we? <laughs> How loud do we think this is going to be? As loud as not having any, not having any ghost on. Two bolts Ooh. at the front. Hanger either side at the... One hanger, three back box and two posts. Oh yeah, right at the end here. Right, I'll we'll pull those off. Okay. Right, here we are, round two on the ProDrive exhaust. Previous time we ripped out all the sound deadening, well I say we, you mostly, because you know I film and point at things and you do most of the work, which uh, uh, you get full oh, credit uh, for. Shh, so, Jesus wept. So, we're not, we're not going to look at that, but sure. this was to allow us to try and keep the stock look of the ProDrive back box, but release more power and more importantly, noise through yes. it. So this car is going to get rolling roaded in two weeks, and I want to have this straight pipe on there before we start looking at the fueling, because I want to see what it's like with all this extra air and shit. So we've got some pipe, some assorted sizes of stock pipe. So we've got uh, two and a quarter, two and a half, and a 2.75. Which we might have to join together. Which we might have to join together with like funny slopey angles um, in order to try and connect <laughs> this high pipe at the back here with the outlet at the front. But this, this pipe continues in, in the box. So there's not, you know, full. It's it's not like there's a full length that we have to join here because this pipe comes in. We'll see once we open the thing up. But what we're going to do is try and join the two ends together. Keep some basic sound deadening from the ProDrive back box. Mm, I'm but I'm not in touch with any sound deadening when the we're finished. No, no. I'm alright with that. I think it's going to be straight through with the box. Right, it's about to get loud in here. We are using the plasma cutter this time round because it's much faster. It's not mega loud. And we know what's inside there now anyway. I'm also shouting because I've got ear defenders on. Yes. I'm gonna cut back here somewhere. Follow that edge. Somewhere. Something like that. Follow the seam. Follow the seam. What temperature does that run at? As hot as the sun. Pretty hot then. Pretty hot. Do you want that? I wonder if the stuff inside will catch fire again. I don't see any fire. Well, that's a good start, I suppose. Well, what's the plan here? Uh, cut off ye much pipe mm -hmm. about that, and then try and sleeve one of them on the in between the two. Might have to chop that as well. Zigzag style. Zigzag style. Couple of welds. Buff, buff, buff. Doesn't need to be airtight. Doesn't have to be airtight. We just want most of the air to not circulate the box. We just we want it out. out this out this, out. this pipe, the outlet pipe, in there, um, with all directness. 
There's a rich aroma coming off that. There is. There's a rich aroma off your saw blades. Fucked. Not to worry. Plasma gun. How thick is that? Just probably standard exhaust type thickness. Mm. 0.75. Kinda. I'm just okay. trying to work out how best to get it on and still have. Uh, to make the dangle easier, should we cut anything off that other side? I mean, it's really hard to get to. Yes. Well, what we're trying to do as little damage as possible. Hot now. Because you can only cut this once. No, no. Welding. Unlike wood. See if I cut it wrong. I'm, I actually put that back on and weld it back on if I want. That's why metal's so much more fun than wood. <laughs> it's like working with magic. <laughs> Let's say, ah shit, I've cut it too short. I'll weld it back on again and then cut it again. You should, ideally you wouldn't, but you know, <laughs> but you can. <laughs> All right, it's good to know you can. All right, cool. Uh, happy with that, right? <laughs> attempt number one then in that case. Well, I don't know what you'll see, but I can't fucking see. Well, measure twice, cut many, a lot, many times. Right, so the whole, the whole pin hold section's coming off now. Uh, yes, yes. So I can get into the. Oh man, such clickbait. If I, that, that is a thumbnail. <laughs> oh. Buy a new exhaust kids, don't do this. Slidey that bit. Yeah. Then slide that bit. Down there, like that. Oh, and then just. Bit of weld, bit of weld, half half off, off. Weld, weld, and there you go, you've got a straight, straight piped ish straight, straight, pro drive straight. back box. Okay. For the princely sum of. Well. Well, I mean, I spent like 20 quid on <laughs> to stock tubes. Well, it's cheaper than 900 quid for a. Well, let's <laughs> burn. No, it's the what you're right. It was like 600 quid, 670, I think it was, for a new spec R. No, that is a fucking. It's it's a tube. It's a straight through pipe. Not everyone has access to the welders and the plasma cutters yeah, that you, you could have done them. I could have done them. I should have done them. I mean, this doesn't have to be structural, it just has to well, stay has in to, place. It has to not fall off. And jig around and rattle. And jig around and rattle. So more than attack. Yes. But not airtight. It doesn't that? No, it's not airtight. There's, yeah. there's no airtight about that. Well, what do you think? Chances are that falling off. No, no, no. Uh, none. No, no. Do you need to whack that with a chipping hammer, no, or is it irrelevant? It's done. Cool. That's it. In place. Right. What this stage of the highly scientific process, David? Um. So I'm trying to get the flap to re-flap. So now that we've burst open the Pro Drive back box, we've got to get it sealed again in order to weld it back up. Wait, if you stood on that like that, I could get like an inch long tack in that Well that's end. what I was thinking, well, just fucking weld it on the floor. <laughs> you were the one that didn't want to go on the floor. Okay. I don't, still don't really. <laughs> I'm standing by my opinion, I still. do not want to be on the floor. But right. Okay, you see, do you have to like clip onto it then? Where are my welding rods? Yes I do. Your welding rods are here. Allow me to get a fistful. Right. Don't get too close, I don't want to melt your shoes. Okay. 
Okay, that bit should hold. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's going to pop off or it's not. Cool, that is now welded. Let's get that back on the car. Mind the don't smash the lights on the way out. Catch. Catch. Please no. Right, let's do it. Wow. Where did we get in last time? This was this was the longest part last time. Uh, oh, there you go. That one, that okay, one. Okay, that was. This this one's gonna be. Did he spit on it? I did. Okay. Yay! Oh, that one. Yeah, so perfect. much lube. Nice. So now we have a Pro Drive back box with all the sound deadening removed and now with a piece of pipe joining the two sections so that it's basically straight pipe but on a budget David has the decibel meter Ta -da! decibel meter let's find out how loud it is it's probably going to wake the neighbours on the other hand they're they're pr I mean I'm having to shout now it's a good job like I'm charming and friendly with in the local neighborhood <laughs> look at his shocked face he's just like <laughs> I can't believe we did this <laughs> I can't believe it's not rattling <laughs> that's high quality welds right there so that's idle idle angle 65 or something That's basically stock. More or less, yes. So this is different turbo. Yes. D cap. Second D cap. Full D cap. But all the cats are gone. Right. Uh, center resonator is removed, and now we're straight through on the Pro Drive back box, and it's doing 63 decibels idle. Sorry. The problem is that 85 when it starts up on a cold morning. That's, yes. That's going to be a difficult. Yes. Right, let's hear what it sounds like with a bit of revving. <laughs> Jesus, what have we done? <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> That's like hammer drills, jets. And right, so you go do it so I can hear it now. Oh, God. Sorry, everybody. Don't worry about this one. <laughs> Changed the exhaust so that I could be a hooligan chav bastard, and Dave has facilitated that for the prime princely sum of oh. well, well, like twenty quid worth of welding materials and ten quid worth of pipe. Yeah, I think you take it out later than there. Disturb the peace. Yeah, Jessie's going to be so mad. Oh, she she hates it already. She's going to be so mad. <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 